Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex. That's Kirby. I gotta start doing bloopers so people will see why we're laughing all the time at the beginning of the video. But anyway, we're gonna be reacting to this video uh, with Robert Kiyosaki. So check this video out. Why would you save money when they're printing money? Because you didn't. I don't know. Because, because that's you... what you've been told to do. Of course. So question that. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? Then they tell you to save money. Do you know why they tell you to save money? I don't know. Because the system of banking, so when you save, so let's say you save $1 US or 1 euro, 1 yen, the banking system can lend out 10. So the entire system is called the fractional reserve system. The fractional reserve system is also printing money. And then they tell you to save money. So they, they want you to save money so they can lend out your money 10 times. So your dollar became worthless 10 times over. All right, Kirby. So um, I got I got some things to say on this, but uh, what are your what are your thoughts on what he said? Well, please do me a favor. Stop me if I get on a soapbox. But this here is a very, very hard concept for people to believe. I mean, to understand, not believe, just understand. And the reason why is people don't want to question information. People want to believe in tradition. They, they don't want to, and I'm putting this in order. They don't want to believe in tradition. They don't want to learn. They don't want to learn. Um, because grandma, granddad, mom and them, and everybody always said, oh, you get money, you save it. You get your paycheck, you save 25% of your paycheck and put it in a the bank. They never ask why. They just do it. And then the thing is, they never ask why, and they continually pass that down from generation to generation to generation. I remember in a, a Dave Ramsey book, Total Money Makeover, when they said that they was doing a research, a research, and this is exactly how uh, human nature is. They was doing researches on these monkeys. They was climbing the pole, and they would shoot water. And now that I'm saying this, it might not have been Dave Ramsey, so forgive me. It was a book out there. And then, so it was a couple monkeys on the pole, and then they would climb up the pole, and they would spray the monkeys with water hoses. And then the monkeys would fall. And then they would do that over again, over and over again, spraying water hoses, they would fall. Eventually, the monkeys that was in there, they would not climb to the top of the pole no more. They would have offspring. And their offspring would try, and then the monkeys would, you know, chastise them so they wouldn't climb the climb the pole because of the effects of what was done to them before. And then once that second offspring had more offspring, their those kids never even tried to climb the pole at all. They never even questioned why I don't climb the pole. They just stop. And of course, the monkeys can't talk, but you know they could sit there and have the lingo, like you know. And that is what's going on in our generation. I know I'm not calling nobody monkeys. I'm just talking about the experiment. You know, I know y'all will keep bored warrior divas want to say something. But that's the mentality is they just do things over and over and over again and they don't know why. Um, maybe when, you know, grandma and grandpa was saving, putting money in the bank, the interest rate or savings rate at that bank was 10%. And then so they was getting a little return on the money that they was putting in. And maybe that's why they said it. But you have to know the why. Because if you fast forward from the 70s, the 60s till now, that same bank that's same, putting the same amount of money in a savings account or any amount of money in a savings account, the interest rate is maybe 1%. So 90% lower than the interest rates they was getting in the 60s. So the whole thing of putting money in a savings account doesn't make sense. Then when Robert speaks about the valuing of why do you save something that they print more money of? And this is a conversation me and my wife had 
the other day because we was trying to explain it to somebody. Same as explain this same as that concept to somebody. I said, if they keep printing, it devalues what savings mean. So let's give an example. The Mona Lisa painting, one of one, the value of that keeps going up. Now, if they went to a warehouse, Leonardo da Vinci, I hope he's the one that created the Mona Lisa painting, but they go to a warehouse and find out Leonardo da Vinci created a billion more of these same paintings, the value of that one Mona Lisa painting will go down drastically in value because it's more of them. So just think of that with the concept of money. The more that is printed, the less it's worth. So why would you save something that they're creating more of? That's the same thing with the Teletubby crazies in the 2000s. Everybody was like, oh, you collect these Teletubbies? They're going to be collectors items. But McDonald's, they got so many people going to McDonald's buying Happy Meals with Teletubbies, they kept kicking out Teletubbies. So what is the real value of it? If it's more of them. Value is in rarity, scarcity. It's not in abundance. So now I'm off my soapbox, but Robert articulated very well. But there you go. What you got? Yeah, that goes for anything. And um, like going off of, I've mentioned before, I sell like antiques and stuff. And uh, there's these uh, metals from World War II that are very common. And um, there was a collector who found literally a chest full, like, I don't know why the chest was full, but it was an entire chest full of them. And it was like hundreds and hundreds. And I was like, those are about to get real cheap. And someone was like, no, this means that they're going up. I was like, what? No, there's there's more supply. Like it and sure enough, the price dropped like 40% on you know the metals across all all internet sales. But uh, you know, that's that's just how it works. And it's the same thing, like you said, with money, they print. What is it billions a month? I forgot the number, but it's a ton. Like you cannot out save the government or as far as, as fast as they're printing it. And yeah. questioning information is the biggest thing. Um, and I remember one of the first conversations we had, I asked you, because I didn't understand the concept of investing over saving. My thinking was like, okay, if I stop saving and now I do this investing thing, I was thinking like, okay, investing is you put your money in something, you lose it. And then hopefully it brings a return. I had no, I really had no concept that like, no, you invest it, the money's still there. And then it brings you an income and it grows. Like I had no idea that was a thing. So people have to just not be scared of the word investment and thinking it's a form of gambling. And I keep I keep hearing that from people. Oh, it's just gambling. If you know what you're doing, and Robert Kiyosaki also talks about this in, in his book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. If you understand what you're doing, there's no risk to you. You just, you understand it. You know, it'd be like a soccer player going on the soccer field. He knows what he's doing. He's not gonna, he's not worried about breaking his head. Like, you know, he knows that the game involves his feet. You know, it's like, it's the same thing. If you understand something, you're not afraid of it and to get involved in it and you got something and the because i'm sorry because you saying a key point right there when you're saying once you understand things people think when you say oh if you understand what you're doing then it's not a gamble right the key word if you understand most people just think oh alex you're just you was born and blessed to know what that stuff is. They don't look at it as, no, I sit down, I picked up a book, I looked at content on the internet, I looked up articles on the internet, I studied what it was to learn this information. It ain't just inherently God just came down here and just it placed the investment gene in my brain. You research the information, and that's the thing people don't want to do. They don't want to... They don't want to research the why because if they research the why and it debunk everything that they've been told before, now they question everything. Instead of thinking of, oh, I need to do this because it improved. I see other people doing this. I need to prove. But they think that, oh, I, I'm i waiting for somebody to come pour the information in my head instead of just going to get the information. You're saying the thing perfectly. 
If you understand, how you understand it is get financially literate. Read books, read articles, pick up content online, social media, of people that's actually doing the work, not the dude in the basement trying to tell you what he thinks. People that's actually doing the work that will break down the information for you, Barney style, on how it's done. People that do the work can break it down so you can understand it. People that just reading some information off of, out of a book and never done anything, they're going to make it sound so complex and stupid. That's another reason why CPAs, I'm not a big fan of those either. They just got the education in it, but they're really not doing it. That's why it sounds like gibberish when you go in there and try to talk to a CPA. But understand what you're doing means go in there and learn. We always talk about the key to success, dedication, time, determination, and doing the work. I probably messed up the order, but it's still the hell. It's still those three things. Of course, excuse me. But that's what it is. Okay. Questioning information. Um that that one that was probably the biggest point. I know the, the topic of that video was um you know about money being fiat money, you know, it's not real and your the bank lends out your money, but how he said you need to question that. It's it's huge. When you start questioning things is when you can start, you're not going to know the answer, but you're going to have that ambition to find the answer. And wherever you can find that answer, you're going to learn more from wherever you're learning it from, whether it be a person, whether it be online. But, you know, and people, they, you, you see them question everything other than, you know, what's important in their life, conspiracy theories and all this stuff. But that was what got me on this path was questioning at 18 years old. Why are there people that don't have to report to a boss? And it wasn't even that because most of my family that work out, they all work in the same company. And my mom, uh, you know, she was like, I can get you a job here. And, you know, got the job and everything. But I was just thinking, what is it that the owner is doing? And I, all I heard from people was, oh, you need a job, you need insurance, you need a 401k. This is the only thing they cared about. It wasn't even really the income. I mean, the income, obviously, a lot of them, but, uh, you know, needed it. But some people that have side hustles or whatever, I would see people with side hustles that match their income at work, but they did not want to leave work because of the 401k, the health insurance. And all I could think is, I doubt the owner cares about his health insurance because all I heard was, oh, private insurance costs more. So the owner, I'm sure, makes enough money to pay for private insurance. So how is he making more money? That is the only thing I could think of is like, you know, how are there people that do not need to go to work and what are they doing that's different? And just continuing to question that and trying to piece everything together and learn from other individuals that did better that's eventually what you know led to me getting on this path but people have to open their mind and the earlier you can do that the the better yeah with all that being said please like comment share and we'll see you in the next video see you guys